everybody. So the pie, first of all, the blueberry pie that we got cut off from right here looks fabulous. I didn't do a high crust because I didn't want to put the tin foil on it and I want to see if it would bake in 45 minutes. So if you don't put a high crust like I did, I just married the ends together, then you can just put it in the oven on 375 for 45 minutes. You don't need the tin foil around the edge. But if you're making the traditional high crust all the way around, then yes, you need the tin foil. And you use the tin foil for 20 minutes on 375. You take the tin foil off and you cook it for 20 to 25 more minutes. But I am doing a straight from the garden meal. It's a um, yellow bean and peas and red potatoes and it's a soup and we'll be using our onions. So first of all, the, the yellow beans, they come out of the garden like this. You just snip the ends. Um, some people keep this end on there. I don't tend to. I just snip them and then I just snap them. And that's what you're going to see coming out of here in a second. I just snap them. So that's what it looks like. And then the peas coming out of the garden, the pea pods. The thing about pea pods, make sure that when you pick a pea pod, you can feel them. Like this one's not so round. You can see um, this one is roundy. When you go to pick the pods, pick the ones that are round because those are the ones that are truly done. There's an end on it. You pull it like this and you lay it open. And then you just use your thumb to pull out the peas that are inside. I feel like I'm yelling over that, so I'm turning it off. So again, we just... Yelling. I was? Okay, well, that takes care of that. So again, I just take the ends like this, peel it back, open it up with my two thumbs, and then I just use my thumb to push the peas out. So that's what I have in the soup are these snap beans that I just peel the ends off. Two. This end done, and then just snap, 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 and various and sundry pieces. It doesn't have to be any particular size. Here's the last pea that I had to do, and there you go. Because everybody's always asking me, well, how do I process stuff from the garden? That's as easy as the beans are. There are other recipes where you leave the beans whole, and we will go over that. Usually, green beans are the ones I leave whole. I almost always snap the yellow ones for sure. You can see that they're not super long. We tend, I tend to leave them in the garden when they're a little bit bigger and everybody says, oh, they're too big. So I picked them younger this time and oh, we'll have more success with them probably. Okay, so I have taken those um, beans and peas and oh, here's the best way to do it, I guess. Excuse me. And I have steamed them. Which you can see, beautifully steamed. And I have already cut up my red potatoes and cooked them in water till they were fork ready. You know what that means, like for our mashed potatoes and stuff. So now I'm just going to put them together. Oh my god, this is such a good soup. This literally takes minutes. I mean, it is cutting and snapping is the longest process on this because when you got your potatoes cut that small, it doesn't take more than five or ten minutes for them to boil fork ready. And the peas and the beans likewise because they're being steamed. Putting it on there, on back on the stove, so you can see how beautiful this is before I add anything to it. Come on over and see how, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. The, the beans are on the bottom. I mean, the potatoes are on the bottom. There you go. That's a good. So now I'm going to, today I've decided to use half and half because I kind of want a creamy flavor to it. Usually I've always just made it with just milk. Today I'm deciding to try half and half. So here I go, brand new container, I'm just going to put it all in. Um, don't boil this, you're only going to want to bring it up too because I've already got the potatoes are hot, the beans are hot, you don't want to put it up any, you certainly don't want to boil it, so you only want to bring that milk up until it's hot. So if you can see inside of here, can you see? Mm -hmm. The other thing from the garden I love to put in is our onions, which I already took the time to chop up so you didn't have to watch me chop them again. So those are going in. I didn't use regular onions um, from the store because I really wanted these to kind of float on the top. They're so pretty. Look how pretty this soup is already. And to gild the lily just a little bit more, I talked to Tim about, hey, did you want a handful of bacon bits in there? And who says no to bacon, right? So I'm just going to go like that, toss it on there, 
salt and pepper. And of course, you never, ever, ever, ever cook anything without, hold on, a little garlic powder. It's always that little secret ingredient that does that extra. And that is it. My soup is done. All I'm going to do is leave it on the stove long enough to bring that, um, that half and half. Normally you can use, definitely use regular milk. For all my life I've always used regular milk. Today I was deciding, hey, we're doing first. We made my first blueberry pie. So I'm going to try half and half because I like the, the idea of it having a creamier flavor. Uh, I mean a creamier, um, yeah, a creamier flavor than just regular milk. So that's it. That's your whole soup. Oh no, I'm missing one ingredient. Hold on. You can't have this soup unless no good cook does this soup without floating some butter on the top. Woo, Mary would have been all over me without, if I did not float some butter on the top of this, I'd have had a note on the bottom of this in seconds on the bottom of this video saying, hey, I put butter on the on float butter on the top of mine. Yes, you do. And corn chowder I do too if I'm making it the the less thick way. It's just made with milk. So there you go. That's about a tablespoon, a little more than a tablespoon of butter. And the, the butter is going to melt while the uh, milk comes up to room temperature. And that's it. That's as easy as that is. It's uh, red potatoes from the garden, yellow wax beans, peas that we just um, took out of their shell, bacon bits is the only thing that came out of the cupboard, and of course our onions, salt and pepper with a little bit of garlic. So I don't even think I really need to, well maybe I should write that as the recipe I suppose on the side, but, and that's it. If anything, I might add a little bit more milk because I had a little more um, uh, beans and stuff in there than I thought I did. But it depends on your ratio. I like to have all the beans and stuff in every bite. Some people like to have um, more broth, so they might put more milk in this. But I think it's perfect. Take another quick shot of that, please, honey, and let them know what it looks like. Is that cool? So anyways, it's summer. That's our first, that's our first big summer soup. That's very easy. I know we're cooking on a hot day. I just made 22 jars of, of uh, triple berry and 15 jars of blueberry and I've got this blueberry pie here. So I'm exhausted, but in the kitchen all day. So this was a really nice quick, I'm going to put some um, garlic bread on the side. Really quick dinner to go and it's all out of the garden. Thanks very much. See you tomorrow. Bye.